Well, good morning from day 183. We are all packed up at 739 and we're heading out. We've got about 11 and a half miles to do today and uh, hopefully it'll be a good day. Not as much elevation. Who knows whether we've got rocks and slidey stuff today or not, but we're going to make it a good day. They are calling for some drizzly stuff. I hope that it's not too bad, but we'll make the best of it. So we'll see you up the trail. Well, right off the bat, we're up the stream from uh, the water source that I showed you last night. You can see the pool down here at the very bottom of the picture where we filled our water and cleaned our feet a little bit. But uh, this little cascade right here is really nice. Another pool right here that's like cost us three feet deep, I bet. And uh, I'm going to step down here and hopefully not slip. There you go, around the corner. So beautiful water source right here, water feature right beside where we camped last night. Thought I'd pause and show it to you on my way up the hill this morning. Well, we've got another Russian creek here beside of us. I think we're gonna follow it for a ways. Sound is very beautiful. And the glimpses that I'm getting are nice as well. Here's one little cascade. Not the best view for all the foliage, but it is what it is. I'm working my way up trail. Well, here's another view of a nice little cascade and stream, pool. Absolutely a gorgeous creek that we're walking beside here. Well, this is our first little bump today, Lone Mountain, 3,280 3, feet. We are uh, 3.1 miles in, and uh, we've got a little bit of a flat for a little while, and then we go up Spalding. I don't remember now how much the trip up Spalding is. I think it was a total of about 1,500 feet, I think. We're halfway there. I think uh, now that we've crested this, we just get to walk out for a little bit <clears throat> and then we'll go up Spalding. But that remains to be seen, but beautiful forest right now that we're walking through. Trail's a little rocky, but it's something that with two poles and free hands, I could walk out on pretty easily. So. For that, I'm grateful. I'm just glad to be done climbing for the moment. Look, this is the Spalding Wean 2. And we've got a squirrel chilling in the shelter here. Okay. Somebody has cooked right there, very apparently. He's licking up whatever salt or whatever's left over. And that's why you don't eat in the shelter. Well, this is the Blue Blaze to the very top of Mount Spalding. I think I'm close enough. I think I've got plenty of rocks in front of me not to add an extra tenth or two to my trip. So I'm going to follow the White Blaze Trail down along the ridge line. So this marker is in honor of Civilian Conservation Corps members who helped to build the trail. And this spot or somewhere nearby, it says, was the place where the sections from the north to the south and main were connected and the trail was completed. So this was the final place where they hitched the trail together. A fitting monument. So Hawkeye just hollered at me to stop and come back with my camera out. Oh, 200. Yep, we so are 200, 200 miles to go for the Southbounders. This is their 200th mile of the trail. Yep. So that's awesome. Good job. And we hit uh, another milestone later in the day that we'll be sure and show you, assuming I don't walk right past it. So, wow, we finally have flat walkable trail, at least for the moment. Again, it's been truly remarkable. Well, this is our view coming down the mountain today. We've got about two and a half miles to go and a thunderstorm is threatening. So the question is, can we beat the thunderstorm and get our tents put up before it hits. On the positive side where we are, it's fairly clear and there's still some uh, sunshine leaking through. So I'm ever hopeful. There's a rock screw right over there. I'm glad we don't have to get down. But uh, beautiful views today. Well, this was our path just now. Straight down this rock face. It's 
couple of places that it could be kind of dicey, but uh, we're making it down. We're in this scramble downhill. We've got all these crazy people up here, but more importantly, Two thousand miles. <laughs> hey, that one was actually not bad. Yep. <laughs> We've got another century mark knocked off. We've only got one more of those to go. Yeah. Because the last one's not quite a hundred miles. <sighs> and I think this also means we're pretty close to our campsite. Yeah. So that's nice too. <sighs> Hopefully, this rock scramble will die down though before we get there. But man, 2,000 miles. Well, here's another rushing mountain creek here. I see Hawkeye's making his way across, and it looks like we've got a board over there. So that's a good thing. Honestly, I think our campsite is right here, but I'm not certain. So we'll go ahead and do some exploring, and we'll look ahead. Well, here's a look back up this creek. And uh, beautiful little area right here. I hope we are camping nearby. Uh, it's a good, good place to suck some feet, but we at least have a board to cross, and for that, I'm thankful. Well, I'm coming to you live at the end of our day from my tent. I'll show you around a little bit. It's kind of a mess. I've got all my stuff kind of laid around here. My feet are nasty. Sorry about that. All my other stuff up there. Typically, everything has a place, but uh, tonight I was ready to get into camp and pitch my tent, actually this afternoon, because we had rain this afternoon in the last... I don't know, three quarters of a mile or so. So we got soaked coming in here. So I got my tent up in a hurry and everything's in it. And I don't know that anything will dry tonight because it's supposed to be stormy overnight. But at any rate, we're up and out tomorrow, uh, headed over to the Crockers, uh, about seven and a half miles. So not as long a day, but we're actually headed into town so we can shower, do some laundry, dry some clothes, uh, resupply a little bit. And uh, then we'll be back out the following day. We're Going to try to do this last stretch with no zero days. We'll see what happens. Um, but we're eager to be done and, and committed to trying to go as far and as fast as we can do to uh, get it done. So we'll talk to you in the morning first thing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.